So what's going on guys? This is DIY Dan, Saltwater Junkie, and we're gonna build a waterfall style algae scrubber. All right guys, so this is the filtration room for this system. And I mounted this uh, algae scrubber above my refugium. That's a 55 gallon tank and it covers half of it. So it's about 24 inches long. Uh, I'm gonna turn the lights on so you can see. This is about two weeks worth of growth. And I did modify it a couple times, so that's kind of deceiving in a way. So that's with the lights on, and uh, if this seems interesting, stay tuned. We're going to build this right now. All right, so let's go over the materials for this thing. First thing is going to be the lights. I got these at Lowe's, 22 inches long. They're an LED grow light. All right. Got two of them. Right now, I'm only doing half of this what I'm hoping to be this algae scrubber but I'm making the bracket big enough to hold both of them um, so these do plug right into the end of each other so when I do the second one that's how I'm gonna put those so I think that'll work out really slick all right for now they're basically gonna mount one on each side of this uh, board now this is PVC board so it's completely waterproof they make it they have it at Lowe's or Home Depot uh, one by four and one by two is the only two sizes I've seen it in though. And then of course I've got my algae scrubber screens here and some PVC parts. So the first thing I did is I measured the top lid of my tank and cut these one by fours to the full length of the tank. And then I cut some one by twos. And these lights just have little clips that hold them. One in, you know, screw in each one and then they just snap in. So I put those kind of low, I'm going to hang my algae scrubber up high so it's going to split right in the center and hopefully hit that screen just nice and evenly. So now I'm going to make the brackets that's going to hold the screens. Alright, so I cut this one already, I'm going to show you how I did it because I didn't know how that was going to quite work, but it worked out pretty good. Alright, this is where I've got to go to on my cut. I'm going to set this in here and push it up against the stop where my blade stops. I'm setting this centered right in my groove here. All right, so basically I'm using a hole saw. I did use rough sandpaper before, but it, I just really want this thing to be really jagged and, and grabby so that algae can grab onto it really well. So I'm just gonna take this hole saw and just scrape it. And that gives it a really rough, rough edge. All right, so we're gonna sand this half moon in here to cradle that PVC. So I've got it marked center, I've got my little sanding bit on my drill press here, and we're just going to turn it on and... Alright, so I have uh, mounted my screens just using zip ties, and how I'm going to take these off is I'm just going to undo this bulkhead here and then lift this off of here. Uh, the cradles for the PVC came out really nice. So I did a temporary plumbing job just to get this thing going and see what it looks like. Uh, that was my refugium supply. I moved that over to one of my other uh, shut off valves. But in order to, I mean this is a huge algae screen, right? Uh, I did put an extra bulb out because what I figure I'm going to do is adjust how much water flow, which I've got it running full open, really. So that's not really gonna matter. Um, and I figured I could shut it off here when I do my maintenance on it. I've got a bulkhead here to lift, so disconnect this, lift this whole piece out. Um, getting pretty good flow all the way across the first one. And about halfway, I'm only getting a complete flow to about there. And I've got that fully open, so um, I knew I was making this thing huge. 
I might have to supply both sides. So if, if I tee this and come over here, I bet you it'll hit all these screens nice and easy. So as you can see, I did redo my plumbing here. <clears throat> um, and I did glue these pieces here because they're hanging on the outside of the tank. These are just push in and I just did push in on these. I'm not really getting any leakage at all. And plus if these leak, it's gonna go down into the tank. So I wasn't that concerned. Just in case I do a design change again, I'm not wasting any more PVC. Um, the dual feeding from both sides helped a bunch. I've only got like a two inch stretch and this thing is 24 inches long and 12 inches deep basically. So I'm getting really good flow. Uh, that helped out a bunch. All right guys, so this is how I ended up finishing this thing off. I decided to go ahead and build both algae scrubbers, obviously. And uh, since I had two ball valves, and ran one for each side. All right. So now I can adjust these where I want them. And then I use these ones to just shut on and off when I need to clean them off. So that uh, is working out pretty good. I'm gonna turn the lights on. I only got one light on this one for now. I gotta buy another light, so you can see. So hopefully this will work out really well. All right guys, so I uh, hope you enjoyed that build. I had a lot of fun doing it. I think it's gonna work really, really well. And uh, if you liked it, hit like and subscribe. There's plenty of other videos, man. I got videos on auto top offs, protein skimmer shutdowns, uh, plumbing on systems, stuff that uh, I had happen to me. So I'm making you aware of it so it doesn't happen to you. Um, all kinds of good stuff, man. So uh, hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one. Later.